In this video, let us see how to place a panel between two panels. Generally, it is hard to place a panel between two of them without one of the panels being apparent. But it can be done easily with the use of document outline. Let us go into Visual Studio and open a Windows Forms app. The document outline is a window which gives a clear view of the parent-child relationship for the controls used. OK, now set the form border to none. Now let us drag two panels into the form. Go to the toolbox and search for a panel. We dock the first panel to the left. We now drag another panel into the form. We use fill option of the dock property for this panel. This is done so that the whole form is covered with the two panels. Now change the color of the panels to differentiate it from each other. As the two panels are totally inside the form we say that the two panels are children of the form. When controls are placed into the panels we say that the controls are children of the panel. Now, let us drag the third panel which is to be placed in common to the other two panels. The third panel, when placed inside a particular panel has the color same to the panel it is placed into. But, when we place it in common we couldn't understand which panel is the parent due to multicolor. So, let us change the color of this panel. We come to know that the red panel is the parent. When we run this, only the part in red panel gets displayed and the part in green panel is not visible. This is because, it displays only the part which is in its parent. Now, to fix this issue and display it completely, let us go to the document outline. If the document outline is not available in default, go to view. In that go to other windows and select document outline. You can also use the shortcut given beside. The document outline clearly shows the parent-child relationship. Inside the form 1 is both the panels. Panel 3 is inside panel 1. If we select a control and drag it into another control, it would become the parent. So, we drag panel 3 into panel 2. Now panel 2 becomes the parent. Next we drag panel 3 into panel 1. Now, the parent of panel 3 is panel 1. To display panel 3 completely in common to panel 1 and 2, we need a common parent. The common parent is none other than the form itself. So when all the three panels are direct children to the form, automatically it can be positioned anywhere in the form. So position the panel accordingly and change the relationship in the document outline. It would result in the overlapping of panels. Now let us run the application to see if it is working. Yes, the panel 3 is placed in between the two panels and is also displayed completely. But if you change the position of the panel again, it would result in the old outline. So it is better to design the panel completely and then place it in the required position. Let us check what happens when we change the position. As we said before, the panel changes its relationship again. To avoid this, better do the document outlining at last, before running the application. Now we knew how to use document outline for changing the parent-child relationship and to use it for overlapping controls. 
I hope that this tip was helpful. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, do like, share and subscribe for more videos.